Welcome, I'm Gary Hoffman, and this is CEOs You Should Know. And you are? Lindsay Snyder, the CEO of In-N-Out Burger. I'm a fan. <laughs> uh, tell us about In-N-Out. How big are you guys now? Uh, well, <laughs> we have over 29,000 associates. Wow. Uh, we have 351 stores, and um, it's a pretty big family. The restaurant starts in the late 40s, Grandma and Grandpa, and it's been in the family ever since. Yes. That history is almost unprecedented when it comes to a, a company as successful as this. Does that family history play into the thinking, or at least that so far as what I've heard, you have no plans to sell, no plans to go public, anything like that? No plans to sell or go public, no. <laughs> and is it because of family? Is it because of the history? It's, yeah, I mean, for me, it's, um, you know, this is, I feel like I'm carrying, continuing to carry the torch. You know, this was something that they started and, you know, from everything I understood and heard, they had no plans of ever selling it or, um, you know, going public. So I'm just trying to keep it the way they would want it and, um, you know, grow, but do it in a way that would make them proud. <laughs> Are there times when, as the CEO, you think to yourself, I'm not sure what I would do, in the, or I'm not sure how to handle this situation or this big decision. Do you think back and say, what would grandpa do? What would, what would my father do? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's different things that come up. I think just with, you know, advances in technology or operating, you know, operations in the store, how you can do this and this might be a little faster or this might, and, you know, um, a lot of those things that come up, you know, they get put in front of us like, hey, this is, everyone's doing this. This is good. <laughs> and you know, you're going to save money or this, that. And, and, you know, there's just times where you go, yeah, but that's going to take away the customer's experience. I heard you mention that in a podcast specifically about the issue of mobile ordering, where mm -hmm. on my app I can order my meal, drive through, pick it up, and be gone. Why yes. not? Why haven't you done that? Because one of the special things about In-N-Out is the experience and the interaction, the relationship between the customer and the associate. Because, um, you know, I don't like to, to say the word pride, but we, we do pride ourselves in the fact that we, s we have service with a smile and wonderful people with great attitudes serving our product. And so that's part of the experience at In-N-Out. And we don't want to take that away because with mobile ordering, it's just going to change. It's just going to, it's going to change the atmosphere. When you were younger, um, 17, 18, early 20s, whatever it is, was this in the back of your mind that you were going to be the head of the company someday? Did it ever, was it a goal of yours? So, I mean, it really was when I was 17, when my dad passed away, um, that was when everything kind of changed. Cause you know, I had a, I had a plan, I had ideas and, and then that just kind of went <laughs> not away, but it was definitely, um, changed and morphed into, you know, me being involved with the business. And it felt like, you know, this, this family empire that, if you didn't protect it and do this, then you know it was going to change, and and it could be something that maybe my family wouldn't have wanted. So it really felt like a responsibility and um, a stewardship that I that I embraced. Why in the world did you have to interview for your first job at In and Out? Well, <laughs> I mean, don't you know people? It's <laughs> I do, but I think. I think part of it was just because I, I was incognito to all the other new hires. The manager and the assistant manager knew who I was. And of course, you know, the team that was there to help open the store because it was a brand new store. But um, yeah, we kept it a secret for a while. Um, but I mean, I wanted to be treated normally. I wanted to go through it like others would. And it wasn't my first job. It was actually my second job. So I, I even had a letter of recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> How is it that you find the night, we talked about pride, you know, taking pride in the fact that the associates are so well-mannered, so versed in customer service, always with a smile. How do you find those people? And how does my daughter nail the interview at store number 171? <laughs> um, well, you know, we have um, great people 
So we have great people looking for great people. The things that we look for, for sure, a smile. You know, that's that's one of the things we tell people, or like, if you want to get the job, just smile the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think, you know, the attitude um, to serve, because, you know, we teach a lot about servant leadership and, um, you know, having a heart of service and um, treating our customers like guests. As a corporation also, tell me about the In-N-Out Foundation. That has really grown itself because it started in the 80s and now it's it's huge and we're able to help so many. So that's a really special part of In-N-Out and Slave to Nothing um, just started in the last five years and it's something that God really put on my heart because I knew that you know we've grown and there's a saying that he who is given much much is required you know so if you if you have if you have then you need to give more and so um, you know just knowing that we've grown it's like okay this one foundation isn't enough we need to do more and so that's why it's also slave to nothing so it's really two in one we're both uh, for both um, fighting human trafficking and substance abuse well Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for taking time. Appreciate it. It's an amazing story. There's, I mean, we could do it for three hours perhaps. There is something to be said about, like you were saying earlier, looking backward, mm -hmm. you know, understanding what has happened before, but still moving forward. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> this has been CEOs You Should Know.